and all of our stakeholders. I would like to thank the Honorable President for giving his time to us and taking keen interest in all activities of culture, and especially with these words, with these words I request the President of India to launch the scheme of upgradation of libraries, providing services to the public and also the website of the National Missionary Museum. I thank him very much for having given his special time and having launched these projects. With these words, I thank you all very much for being here. Jai Hind. I'd now like to request the Honorable President of India, Sri Pranam Mukherjee, to please address the gallery. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Shumati Sandesh Kumari Kartuj, Minister of Culture, Sri Devendra Singh, Secretary, Minister of Culture, Sri Deepak Pentel, Chairman, High Level Committee of National Mission on Libraries, Distinguished Minister of Culture, Government of Nagaland, Sri Chang, Sri V. Srinivas, Joint Secretary, Libraries, Minister of Culture, Distinguished Participants, Ladies and Gentlemen. It's indeed a pleasure for me to be present amidst you at the launch of the National Mission on Library and the Government of India scheme upgradation of libraries, providing services to the public. I compliment the Ministry of Culture and all stakeholders on this initiative, which marks yet another significant step forward towards our goal of creating a knowledge society. Libraries are social institutions which are repositories of knowledge and information. Their goal is the improvement of society by helping the individual to understand himself and the world of which he himself is a part. Libraries provide easy access to knowledge to all. A public library is often called the People's University because it is available to all sections of society, regardless of age, gender, or skill level. Thus, through democratization of access to knowledge, libraries contribute to promoting inclusive and sustained development of the people. Distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, in order to meet the existing emerging challenges, the need for reform in the library and information service sector has been now widely acknowledged. I am happy that in this regard, the Minister of Culture has taken steps to revamp, re-energize, and reorient the, li <coughs> the library and information service sector by conceiving and promoting the national mission on library. Set up in pursuance of the recommendations of the National Knowledge Commission, this is an important step towards the objective of providing access to knowledge to all, which is one of our basic national priorities. Creation of the National Virtual Library of India is one of the major component schemes of the National Mission on Library. This is truly a step in the right direction with the aim of equitable and universal access to knowledge resources. The National Virtual Library of India would provide digital resources by digitizing the relevant a reading material in different languages which would be shared at all levels. I understand that it will acquire the digitized information available with various government departments and other non-government organizations build a comprehensive database for this information and present it as a user-friendly 
service, including multilingual services. I'm happy to note that the largest <coughs> that the target uh, users of <coughs> NVLI will not only be school researchers, doctors, and professionals, but also the educationally, socially, economically, and physically disadvantaged group. Thus, it would empower people with information in order to create a knowledge society and also ensure preservation of digital content or prosperity. Digital libraries open up the possibility of far more flexible and coherent multimedia collections that are both fully searchable and browsable in multiple dimensions. As each generation becomes more in tune with the internet, their desire to retrieve information as quickly and easily as possible has increased. Finding information by simply searching the internet is considered much easier and faster than reading an entire book. I am confident that this initiative of the National Mission on Libraries will largely facilitate the <coughs> internet savvy people in making maximum use of the library resources. I am sure that the endeavor of our National Mission on Libraries towards setting up of model libraries will set a network for the development of libraries. I understand that these modern libraries could be facilitated with subscriptions of the e-journal, e-book services to web VPN services developed by the National Information Center. These would also be provided with reading resources to meet the local needs. It is appreciable that appropriate facilities would be created to meet the needs of the senior citizens, specially able persons and children. Ladies and gentlemen, for the creation of a true knowledge society, the availability of the efficient knowledge services for citizens is critical. Effective knowledge creation and knowledge deployment can lead to societal transformation and wealth generation Information and knowledge should be disseminated not only in an efficient and cost-effective manner, but also in the formats that are easily accessible to the masses. This will contribute to improvement in the living standards of the underprivileged population of the society. It is essential to bridge the digital divide and the use of the ICT can be instrumental in doing so. We need to realize the full potential of ICT in decentralized governance and in better delivery of service, particularly those relating to education. I understand that in order to provide efficient and effective library service <coughs> through a thorough analysis, of available material and human resources in the library and information science, information science sector. The national mission on libraries intends to undertake a quantitative and quality survey of libraries. I am happy to note that the descriptive statistics about the public and other libraries will be acquired and the study will also be undertaken of the impact of libraries on the quality of life and economic gain of the people. Capacity building is a necessary investment in people, organizations and services to ensure 
operating efficiency, expertise and skill of personnel towards the achievement of organizational excellence. I am happy to learn that the National Mission and Library will conduct a holistic professional and personal development program for library professionals through capacity building. The purpose of capacity building is to develop online training module, tutorials and e-learning module for library and to contribute towards overall development of the library person. Its scope will cover ICT, best basic and advanced level library application on improvement of managerial and computerization skills of the library personnel. The national mission on library, which is dedicated to building a world-class national resource space, will enable us to know our country and ourselves better through the published heritage and also provide an effective gateway to national and international sources of information. Thus, one must remember that the true aim of education is not merely the acquisition of information and knowledge, but inculcating a holistic outlook leading towards self-improvement and a <coughs> desire to serve the nation. Swami Vivekananda once observed, and I quote, all knowledge that world has ever received <coughs> comes from the mind. The infinite library of the universe is in our own mind. Knowledge is a true enabler of human empowerment. It can liberate us from the shackles of ignorance and help us rise above the narrow considerations of caste, creed, and religion. Sharing of knowledge can help in taking the society forward towards enlightenment and can become an important tool for national progress, human empowerment, and social changes. It is essential to imbibe the spirit of the social readiness to serve humanity. True knowledge involves the inculcation of a positive outlook and leads to the development of sound character in our individual. Ladies and gentlemen, I am sure that the project of National Library Mission will contribute substantially to quickening the pace of the social and economic development of the people. I extend my best wishes for the effective implementation of the project as also of the new scheme of upgradation of libraries, providing services to the public. I hope that they will promote the creation of an equitable knowledge society in our country. I am sure the National Mission of Library will promote enlightenment and understanding and go a long way in making the masses actively participate in the affairs of the nation. May the light of knowledge liberate our minds and souls, and may we move forward towards the future with a sense of pride and a strong self-reliant -rel nation. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Honorable Rashtrapati Ji, Honorable Culture Minister of India, Honorable Culture Secretary of India, mm -hmm. Honorable Deepak Pentelji, Distinguished Signatories, on behalf of the Ministry of Culture, I am deeply grateful to respected Rashtrapati Ji for sparing his valuable time to launch the National Mission on Libraries and inspire us all 
to achieve the mission's objective of a knowledge society through revitalization of the public library movement in India. I would like to thank the Culture Minister of India, Srimati Chandresh Kumari Ji Katoch, for her close association with the National Mission on Libraries and for providing the organizational leadership in taking the mission forward. I would like to thank Sri Ravindra Singh Ji, Culture Secretary of India, for piloting the institutional processes in the run-up to the launch of the National Mission on Libraries and continuous hand-holding. I would like to thank Dr. Deepak Pentel, Chairman of the High-Level Committee on the National Mission on Libraries, for outlining the policy objectives and roadmap for implementation. I would like to use this occasion to thank senior policymakers in government who have contributed significantly for making this launch possible. Sri Jawar Sarkar, former Secretary of Culture, and Srimati Sangeeta Gairola, former Additional Secretary and Financial Advisor in the Ministry of Culture, Sri P. K. Jha, Joint Secretaries who handled the subject, Sri Venu Vasudevan and Sri Rakesh Ranjan, Director General of the Raja Ram Mohan Roy Library Foundation, Sri K. K. Banerjee, and his dedicated team of officials, Directors who handled the subject, Srimati Anita Sinha, Srimati Meena Balimani Sharma, and Srimati Monali P. Dhagate, and the NIC team led by Srimati Pratibha Singh. I would also like to thank all the senior officials of the Rashtrapati Bhavan who have worked tirelessly with us over the past week to make this occasion a success. On behalf of the current team of officials working on the National Mission on Libraries, I would like to assure you that we would show deep commitment and pursue the noble objectives laid down by you in formulating this mission.